guys. I am tooled up and ready for this mumbo jumbo. One wing at a time. Leave us alone now. There we go. You won't regret this. Don't let me down. Need my help. Bring it home. Don't worry about it. Uh, that's wind, so it needs thunder. Okay. <laughs> hey there, shirt face. Nothing's gonna stop us. Heartless angel. to slash. Sidewinder, let's just let's just deal with this guy. Angel again, man. Right, go blood fangs, that'll heal him. Uh get an elixir on Barrett urgently, please, and One for yourself as well, Yuffie, please. Come on, that's gotta be it now. You gotta be kidding me. He still ain't dead. Come on, guys. Power of magic and rainbows, I guess. No more tricks, asshole. <gasps> She's here. 
Oh, Aerith. Is she commanding them? Let's end this together. Too right. I must admit, I underestimated you. Let's do this once and for all. That's better. Take me later. This ain't over. Defy. Let's finish this. It's on you. Here goes. You'll see. Arcane Ward. Oh, his wing is a separate life bar. Don't even bother. That ship won't work on me. Not anymore. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, that whisper cannon hits like a truck. Okay, up and at him. Holy crap, he kicked our ass. Is any of it real? Or is it all just a fear thing? Don't even bother. That ship won't work on me. Not anymore. Whoa, that put his pressure gauge up a bit. Don't overdo it. How can you want this, Sephiroth? Hey, God, your part is played. How can you want an eternity of loneliness? Shall I settle it? Oof. Okay. Let's do this. Be careful. That really does a number on him. Uh, 
It literally did a number on him. Gotta dig deep, Cloud. On it. Here he comes. Uh, Got to. Oof. Class protection. Keep up the pressure, okay? Your end is not. <laughs> I'm a risen. Duty calls. Got about a quarter of his health gone, guys. We can do this. Deal with that. So it's my turn? A lot of his attacks, to be honest, are very, very avoidable. Once you get over the initial shock of them. He literally operates just... He's so fast! Giga Flare. Couldn't have come at a better time. Kick his ass for Harmut. Very close to Max. Got the limit, just at the right time. You ready? As I'll ever be. That's it. On it. Find me. That's the way to do it. The end is nine. One more shot. Holy crap. He just unleashed everything.
Got him. Oh my god. Is that it? Bye then. <laughs> Why is he laughing? Because he knows this isn't over. I think that's it. I think we're done. That was tough. That was genuinely quite tough. Ready? Everybody's waiting. So is Aerith alive or not? Well, I know she was there, obviously, but... I'm just a bit confused. We got him. Who's alive and who isn't? <laughs> Someone help. Because I'm guessing the one we fought with, that's the one from the other place. That's the one Zack was with.
stay here forever. We'd best get moving. Yep. Sounds good. Is Aerith not coming with us? What's going on? I have to admit, you were quite the man. Oh, we're going to get some answers about this Glenn thing. Who, me? <laughs> I guess not. Anyway... You haven't seen Viceroy Saruf, have you? He failed to show at an important event. Made us look like fools. Maybe he wouldn't have, if you'd spent some money on that set. Ah, you're probably right. Rich kids do like things just so. Still got results, though, even without him. Resistance elements are more fired up than ever. You know, Glenn, I'm on to you. This war is nothing but a ploy to distract me from Sephiroth. <laughs> How very astute. Regardless, the plan is already in motion. Our promised land will become reality. A father's dream, accomplished by his son. I want the real thing, not some imitation. <laughs> but an imitation's all you deserve. It was a whisper all along. Not a whisper, a uh, clone, a uh, black robe. Weapons are fighting. Well, they're fighting back, should I say?
couldn't have dreamt that. It all felt way too real. Just as worlds unite, so too do they part. <laughs> but who's to say they can't unite again? I'm in the main theme. Can you not raise it just a wee bit higher? Screw you, cat. How's this? No shit. Nice catch. So. What Aerith actually do, anyway? Well? And with that, we are cleared for takeoff! <laughs> Finally! The hell? The reunion. Hey, you coming or what? Yeah, one sec. to promise not to look up. Don't look up. Well, now I gotta look. Fine, but don't let it get to you. Don't let what get to me? It's not real. Just an illusion. Now let's go get Sephiroth. He's hiding up north. North. Trust me, he is. Soldier's intuition. Oh, yeah? Better hope you're right. <laughs> mm. All right, fine. We trust you. Just remember, we got everything riding on this. And that's a load you'd best be ready to carry. No heavy loads. We're close to capacity as it is. Don't worry about me. I can handle it.
Take care. You gonna be okay getting back? And if I said I wasn't? <laughs> Don't worry. It's like a second home. I guess. But what if... What if something happens? Then I'll send up smoke. Thanks. I'll keep an eye out. I'll put everything I've got into my prayers. I'll stop the meteor. And... I'll leave the rest to you. Good luck. Aerith. I will stop Sephiroth. Trust me. You promise? Promise. Wow. Wow, 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 guys. What a phenomenal game. I literally can't ask for better than that. It's perfect. The remake with Rebirth has surpassed the original. But it's done it. I can't believe I'm saying it, but it's done it. I'm going to unpack that ending in a minute. I just want to say thank you so much for joining me for... God, it must be nearly 80 episodes of this now. It's the longest series by a mile, guys. Thank you. For those who have sat through 80 to 90 hours of this game with me, you're all heroes. Thank you. I'm going to let the credits play out because there might be post post credit scene and what have you, but I want to unpack that ending um, in a minute. Everything that Remake was, this is easily blown out of the water and added so much more to it wow yeah Lauren Allred well done absolutely superb superb rendition of this song They got Matthew Mercer for Vincent. That's really cool.
Wow. Such an amazing sight. I couldn't talk through that. Uh, Kaylee Mills, I think she actually does voice this now in Crisis Core. So that's really cool. They've got the same actress. If it is her, I can't quite remember. Tyler Hoechlin, you evil bastard. <laughs> I'm going to let the song finish and then I'm going to unpack everything. Or try to. Okay, I think that's uh, going to be that. So, that ending. I think Aerith is dead. I think she's been killed. But I don't think she's been killed in a way that's permanent. I think, it, I think her spirit is living on. And Cloud can see that because he has the white and black materia now. Or it looked like he had the white materia. Or at least a version of it. I think Aerith's spirit is still very present. And I think she is still going to be very much part of the story. Because in the original, uh, again, spoilers for the original upcoming. When Meteor arrives and you defeat Sephiroth. Meteor breaks through and it does actually start hitting the Earth. Or Gaia in this case. However, it's Aerith that stops it. Not with, not with holy per se, but the live stream. She manipulates the live stream into um, stopping meteor. Whether that's through holy or not, it doesn't really matter. But I think holy. I think I remember that holy fails, and it's just too far gone. And that's the live stream that actually stops it. Now she can't do that if she's not part of the live stream herself. She did manipulate it somewhat in the Temple of the Ancients at the end then. I think that's what they were trying to show, that she has limited power in that regard. But unless she's actually in a spirit form herself, she can't manipulate it properly because she's not part of it anymore. I think that's what they're trying to tell us. I think they're trying to give us best of both. Yes, she's been killed, but her spirit is still showing itself. Only to Cloud, mind you which is interesting. But there's no way she's not dead because they're all mourning her. And they couldn't all see her. So I think that's a given at this point. She is she, she is gone. Whether she's going to reappear, I don't know. Whether she's going to be part of the party ever again, I doubt it. But again, it's all up for speculation. Now, Zach... Sephiroth said during the fight that worlds that unite can easily part just as easily. Or something to those, words to those effect. So, I think Zack's world now has been severed and it's running on its own again. But he is definitely alive. Now, it's interesting because Namora said, I think it was Namora that said this, anyone that dies in this game will be dead they're not coming back which led to a lot of people thinking that Zack might die at the end of the game um, as sort of a you know he's had extra hours he's helped Cloud and that's it his time is done but I think they're talking about Aerith I think it's a case of they knew that her dying is such a big part of the story 
as such a big part of the of the narrative and the law that it needs to happen but like i said what they're trying to do is give us the best of both which is an interesting standpoint because usually that just sort of pisses people off when when, when stories try to rewrite themselves but they try and overcomplicate it and that's what they're doing here but they're doing it i think quite well Sephiroth's agenda still it's clear but it's not at the same time it's still there's still a lot of puzzles to his grand plan again in the original he wanted to cause a wound to the to, to Gaia so great that he would have to be at the center of a wound to heal it and if he healed it if, if he was part of the healing process he'd become a god I don't know if that's still his agenda. I think he's more interested in wiping Gaia clean, to be honest. But again, his agenda on that front, not sure. Um, I'm going to probably replay this game on hard mode anyway, so I'll pick up, hopefully, on the story then a bit more of that, if I've missed things. Um, but yeah. So in summary, I think, yes, Aerith is gone, but for the right reasons. In the original, it wasn't really made clear that she stopped Meteor, but if you look a bit deeper, it's pretty obvious. Whereas in this, I think they try and make it a lot more obvious that that's the case. Um, yeah. Uh, there's not much more to that ending I can unpack. The Cloud having the black materia is a bit weird. Um, obviously, he's kept it in the Buster Sword to try and keep it safe, I guess. I wonder if there'll be a mechanic in future in the future game that is um, that the sword could corrupt, maybe because they were definitely showing that weapons have their own abilities in this game and they showed it off great with Sephiroth at the end there again it's like in the original you see Sephiroth actually has a summon materia and he's the only item in the game that does whereas in this game uh, he has something that no other enemy has and that's weapon abilities like prop, like an actual weapon ability where he uses Masamune or the wing to do something which is interesting. Um, yeah. That final boss fight, by the way, I didn't speak through a lot of it simply because I couldn't. I was just too focused. My God, what a... What an ending. What an end boss fight. I theorized about a lot of this um, before. The one thing I didn't say was about the final form of Sephiroth. I did honestly have a feeling that Bizarro was going to show up as Sephiroth Reborn, obviously, but Bizarro Sephiroth makes sense. And when I fought Genova for the last time, the whole splitted part, split party thing, that's very Bizarro Sephiroth. Again, in the original, when you fight Bizarro, you have the you have a random chance of having one party, two parties, or three, even three parties to fight it. So, it was interesting to me that they chose to do that for Genova instead. And I was like, are they setting us up for this, or is this a replacement for that? But then it'd be a lot to do Bizarro and the final form of Sephiroth all in the last game. So, again, I'm glad they put Bizarro in this game, because it, it shows an evolution. You know, we fought normal Sephiroth in Remake, we fought this version in Rebirth and hopefully in whatever the third one is we'll finally see the, the final version of him one thing I do want to say though guys this game is significantly I think harder like I think this is a hard game to play a lot harder to play sorry I think it's a hard game in difficulty much harder than Remake for sure uh, just because of the sheer variety of enemies and stagger mechanics and god knows us what. I mean, some of the bosses you can't even just, like, attack like you can in Remake. You have to think... Well, a lot of the puzzles 
And to be honest, they were the most fun fights, the puzzle ones. And the ones that had cutscenes in the middle of, um, of them. Really cool. A lot of people have talked about the ending being very muddled and very um, confusing. I'll be honest, is it the clearest? No. I've had to unpack a lot of it like myself, but I think, to be honest, if you use a, lot of, a bit of brain power and, you know, you put your thinking cap on and really digest it, a lot of it's, I'd say, quite obvious. If I'm being honest, like, I think it's easy to work out what's going on. Whether we can confirm it or not, we'll have to probably wait three years for, but who knows. But yeah, I do think this game's more difficult. Is it a hard game? No. Harder, yes. I was a bit gutted about Sid and Vincent not being playable characters, I'll be honest. But I understand why. I also understand why Rocket Town was scrapped. Uh, from this version of the game because obviously it's largely unneeded if you present Sid in this way um, It does lead me to wonder about a certain sequence in the original though and whether that's going to happen So yeah uh, Just seeing that go by actually Roche, I'm so sad he's gone And what a horrible, horrible way to go. So, all very sad. Now, was there anything about the game I didn't like? Hmm. I still think there could be more variety of quest. I still think that could be worked on. The quests were a lot better, and I mean, it was night and day from the previous game. Like, the previous game's quests, I hated. They were utterly, utterly pointless and utterly, utterly unneeded. Uh, the ones in this game, a million times better. I like the fact that each region had a summon attached to it. I thought that was really cool. Um... I thought it was really wicked. The only thing maybe I think they could have done a little bit better was maybe explain a bit more that when you leave a region, you won't be coming back for some time. Now, I know they do tell you this, but when some time is quite ambiguous, it's like quite vague. So it's like, you know, am I going to be gone for a few hours? Am I going to go for 20? Who knows? Obviously, don't get fast travel till quite near the end of the game. But as far as anything else is concerned, guys, I'll be honest, no, I think this game is pretty damn close to as perfect as it can get for an RPG, and that's very high praise. I really do think it's surpassed the original, but we won't know for sure until number three comes out. I have my theory on what the name might be. I'll share it at the end. I thought the relationship between Cloud and Sephiroth was a lot more vivid in this game. I thought the whole Sephiroth controlling Cloud thing was a lot more uh, weird, if that makes sense. Like, Cloud can obviously, you know, he couldn't talk in the original, but in this one he can laugh, he can, he can act out, he can be a complete prick if he wants to be. And that's exactly what he was doing. So it's more obvious. In the original, it's a little bit less obvious what's going on. In this one, it's extremely obvious what's going on. And I like it. I didn't like the fact that he was being a bit of a bit of an ass to everybody, but initially, Zach coming back, I thought was actually going to be a bit of a gimmick but actually it was really cool in the end and the fact that he came and helped us in the end I mean I, I know I predicted it but I thought that was wicked 
I will say once again, I really appreciate Square Enix not blocking this final scene because it would have made it impossible to show it off. Literally, I can't. I've got no access to a computer to, to, to stream anything. So I really do appreciate that. So I hope that uh, they do that for three. Um, my only concern with three, there's going to be a lot to cover and I mean a lot so I have two ideas for this I wonder if it's going to be super linear like one was where they're pushing you through story segments as opposed to going and exploring regions having said that we've already explored the regions so why would we do it again in three so I wonder if it's going to be a little bit more like one where it's a lot more sort of A to B. Because otherwise there's going to be a, like so much to cover. Either that or I suppose it's possible they could do, they could pull a three part one, three part two trick. I doubt it. They said it's going to be three parts and I'm, I'm, I'm holding them to that. I think I think they're going to keep to that. But again, who knows? As far as the presentation of this game, flawless. The music is perfect, graphically perfect. It pushed the PS5 to its limit and beyond. And you know what? Phenomenal. I couldn't ask for better. The music hit just right. The emotional stress of the music hit right. I genuinely got quite tearful in certain fights in certain areas. I remember in the original, the only fight I think I got really tearful in was Airbuster, and that's because I heard the boss theme for the first time, like the properly for the first time, and it was so big, and so epic. And I think the ending got me as well, to be honest. Um, was this one? I think I, I, I think I cried about six times <laughs> throughout the ninety hours. That's the other thing, guys. Ninety hours. Just let that sink in. Ninety hours of content and I'm not even done yet I've got card games to do I've got other odd jobs to do I guess there's so much on offer phenomenal I don't know about game of the year, guys. Game of the decade. Genuinely. I, I can't give it any more praise than that. Really can't. I really can't. And Nibu Yumatsu, if this is your final piece of work as a composer, friggin' hats off to you, bud. I've got to be honest, I think my favorite dungeon by a mile was probably the temple. Uh, I'll be honest, I loved it. I thought it was great. When I saw those uh, rotating things, I thought it was going to be right pain in the ass, to be honest, and just annoying. But no, it was spot on. Just the right level of um, puzzling, just the right level of um, fighting. I'm glad all the bosses from the original were in it, like Red, De Red Dragon, Demon's Gate. Um... Obviously, ones from other areas as well. I'm glad Gi Natak was in there. Uh, I love the fact that they ex expanded the Gi story. Awesome. But yeah, I can't praise any higher than that, guys. Chapter selection and hard difficulty are now available. System chapter selects to replay any chapter from the beginning using current stats and weapons and material. You can also adjust your quest completion status. Ooh. For a real challenge, switch chapters difficulty to hard. Items can be used in rest spots only recover HP. Interesting. After completing the main scenario, play log. Accessible via the system section of the main menu. The play log shows your achievements throughout the story in battle. Gold source and companion selection. Oh, okay, so you can change the date. 
Lovely. That's good, actually. I wouldn't mind showing off the other dates. Uh, combat simulator updates. Uh, cool. New combat challenges featuring Sephiroth and Zack. Very cool. Joker Ranch is now changing booths. Uh, cool. Oh, we can also purchase the Loveless costumes. Very cool. That's it. Wow. I'm going to save in slot number one. And there we go. 88 and a half hours, guys. That's incredible. Now, chances are I'm not going to be showing any more Rebirth for a while because it's taken over my channel for about two months, three months maybe. So, uh, <laughs> but if you want me to show off the dates and um, I can maybe go back and try Gilgamesh Island after I've leveled up a bit more, uh, more than happy to do that. Leave me a comment. But guys, what I want you to do, if you could, if you hung out this long, leave a comment, tell me about your favorite part of the game and if you've got any ideas for part three. Um, by the way, I think part three, a cool name. Uh, a lot of people are saying reunion, but that's Crisis Core. I think it's going to be remade. So we've got remake, rebirth, remade. Or retold, maybe. Something along those lines. But yeah. Anyway, guys, all that's left for me to say is thank you. And uh, I will see you again. My time is just about to run out. I've got about four minutes left. So um, all I want to say is thank you very much. Uh, I've had an absolutely smashing time doing this game. I'm sorry if it wasn't your thing. And I mean, why would you be watching this if it wasn't your thing? But if it wasn't your thing and it's taken over the channel, then I apologize. Um, but hey, this is my channel and I'll, I play you know, generally what I feel like playing. And when this game came out, this was the priority by a country mile. So I'm going to go back to Elden Ring now and try and not die too much in that. Um, I've got another project on the way. So we'll go back to two games eventually. And um, yeah. I really hope you've enjoyed Remake, guys. I've had a blast. So thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will uh, see you for more Final Fantasy VII when it happens, I guess. We could be waiting a couple of years, but hey, do you know what? If there's anything like this game, I'm more than happy to wait. You take care, guys. I'll see you in the next video series. Have a great day. Bye-bye.